Hey everybody, welcome back to Actual Investing. First off, I apologize I haven't posted a video in a while. I was actually out of the country for a little bit, uh, but now I'm back and settled in and the market is back open today. So I thought I'd just make a quick video to talk about this new notion that solar stocks are AI stocks. I think this makes sense on the surface because AI is using a massive amount of electricity. I don't think that's a surprise to anybody. Here's an article from Forbes that says, ChatGPT4 required over 50 gigawatt hours, or approximately 0.02% of the entire electricity that California generates in a year. And it's actually 50 times more than the amount it took to train GPT-3. So the thought here is that as AI continues to grow, it's going to require more and more energy demand. Here's an article from GoVTech that says, Surging AI demand may not lead to electrical outages. However, energy companies are citing AI power consumption as a leading contributor to new demand. So it is hitting these energy companies. This isn't speculation. This isn't a guess that AI is going to use more energy. AI is requiring more energy, and energy companies are making investments to deal with this. So let's talk about solar now. So First Solar is a stock that I own that was actually up 53% in the past month and looks like it's going to be up even more today if this pre-market rally holds. So while I'm happy to see a stock I own up, I'm also a bit scared because I'm not entirely sure anything has actually changed with this company to merit this massive spike in valuation. So let's look at this article here from Investopedia. Um, essentially, First Solar is rallying because it is a beneficiary of two things that are going on in the United States. So First Solar is a U.S.-based solar panel manufacturer. So they benefit from the tariffs that are now being placed on Chinese imports as well as they're a beneficiary of the Inflation Reduction Act, which gives money to American solar companies like First Solar, like Enphase. So First Solar is now standing to benefit from both of these things. There's going to be less competition from China, and they're going to be getting free money from the government, which the Inflation Reduction Act is nothing new. So this news is not new. What's new is that the increased demand for AI is potentially going to spark companies to invest more heavily in renewable energy. Okay, so that all makes sense. But let's look at first solar stock. One month ago, it was trading at about $180 a share. I would consider that a reasonable price at the time. However, it's now trading at $280 a share. We can't just look at share price performance and say that the stock is expensive. So let's quickly go over to my spreadsheet where I look at different disruptive technology stocks. Here's my spreadsheet and I've broken out the four solar stocks that I follow. These stocks are Next Tracker ticker NXT, First Solar, which we just discussed, FSLR, Scholes Technologies, which is SHLS, and Enphase Energy, which is ENPH. I believe these four are probably the most compelling solar stocks out there, in my own personal opinion. So we see that First Solar is the biggest stock on the list, and their valuation is not even the highest on a price-to-annualized sales basis. By the way, for those of you who are new to my spreadsheet, I rate stocks on four different factors and give them a composite score. Those factors are gross margins, annualized revenue, which shows how much market share they've captured, price to annualized sales, which is valuation, and growth. So First Solar grew 45% in this past quarter. And I actually talked about First Solar in my last video where I talked about five stocks to buy for May. So if you had watched that and bought First Solar, then it actually would have done really well. I didn't, uh, I didn't think that that was going to pay off so quickly, but there you go. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, I'm not trying to pat myself on the back. That was pure luck. There was, there was no skill involved there. Um, but we see that their valuation is quite a bit steeper than their other peers. So currently Enphase has a steep valuation because they're seeing some negative revenue growth. So if you had gone back maybe a year or so, Enphase's valuation would be about half this. Um, however, Enphase, uh, their sales are quite volatile because they're tied mostly to the residential market, and the residential solar market is heavily impacted by interest rates. Whereas Next Tracker and Shoals are strictly commercial, their businesses are not tied as heavily to interest rates, uh, still somewhat, right? Because corporations still have to pay interest just like anyone else, but they're not going to be as volatile as consumers. First Solar is kind of nice because they operate in both industries. So they make solar panels for commercial uh, large-scale solar farms, as well as residential homes, rooftops. So, um, is this valuation now expensive at nine times price to annualized sales, as opposed to, say, six times price to annualized sales? <sighs> Maybe. So, when we look at their growth and their gross margins, I don't see anything to be concerned with, um, but I'm also not seeing a bargain buy right now. 
So if you're on the sidelines looking to get into First Solar, I don't think it's expensive, but it's also not cheap. It's one of those stocks where um, I don't think the upside is quite there anymore. I think maybe you'll you'll make a decent return, but I don't think you're going to significantly outperform like you would have if you'd bought when the price was significantly cheaper. So let's talk about these other three solar stocks now while I'm on my spreadsheet. Next Tracker develops solar tracking devices. They're actually the leader in this space. So essentially they are what helps the solar panel to always point towards the sun and optimize energy generation. Next Tracker has a very low valuation. I just had to quickly go in and update this. So if you saw that this changed from 6 to 8.2, that's why. Uh, for whatever reason, Google Finance does not have Next Tracker in their system. It was an IPO like a year ago, so they've had plenty of time to add it. I've submitted a complaint, but um, I don't know if they read that or not. So anyway, Next Tracker has quite a low valuation of three times price to annualized sales. They have a market cap of about $8 billion and annualized sales of almost $3 billion. So it's definitely a cheap stock. Uh, what you Where you win on valuation, you kind of lose on gross margins. They do have the worst gross margins of the bunch at just 30 percent. However, they are profitable. So uh, they're not spending too much on SGNA or R&D. So a lot of that gross profit goes right to the bottom line. And they are growing really rapidly. They grew at 38% this quarter uh, versus the same quarter in the previous year. However, that is expected to slow uh, next year, or I should say this coming year, they're only expected to grow about 17% year over year. So I, I have to say that of these four solar stocks that I follow, First Solar is still my favorite even after the crazy run-up in valuation, which I don't think is totally warranted. Yes, First Solar will benefit from increased AI demand. Yes, they'll benefit from the tariffs. And yes, they'll benefit from the IRA. However, two of these things were already priced into the stock. Those are not new news. The tariffs are slightly new, but even then, that was announced uh, at least two weeks ago. So none of this is exactly new, which makes me believe that First Solar is caught up in a bit of hype right now. Maybe they're going to keep going up. Maybe they're not. However, I am not buying any more First Solar. I'm just going to sit on my hands and let this position do what it needs to do. If you're on the sidelines and you want some exposure to solar and you don't own any solar stocks, I might point you to a stock called Nextera Energy. Ticker is NEE. And this is a huge company with a market cap of $157 billion, But it's also one of my largest holdings. And it's, I believe, an under-the-radar way to play the growth of solar. This is a quick chart from Statista, which are usually pretty reliable. Um, you should always double check this, but uh, Statista is saying that as of right now, solar only makes up 6.5% of Nextair Energy's revenue. And for that reason, they haven't been quite caught up in the same hype. They're only up 14% in the past month versus First Solar up 53% in the past month. However, Nextair Energy is such a big company that the 6.5% solar is still a massive amount of energy, and they're still making investments into their renewables. Look at this. Solar, nuclear, and wind makes up about half of Nextair's business. So if you're interested in clean energy and you are a bit nervous about getting into solar stocks right now, Nextair Energy may be a stock to buy if that's something that you're interested in. They are a dividend stock, so they pay about a 3% dividend currently. And they've grown this dividend consistently for three decades now, according to Dividend.com. So this isn't quite your most sexy growth stock. However, this is a stock that will benefit as clean energy demand continues to increase. Nextera is still building out their solar utility offerings and should stand to benefit as time goes on. And potentially you don't get as much of the risk that comes with investing in a pure play solar stock since Nextera is diversified into a whole bunch of different types of energy. So in conclusion... I like First Solar the best still out of, all the first, or out of all the solar stocks I follow. I don't think it's cheap anymore, but I don't think it's ridiculously overpriced. I'm not buying. Um, I'm holding First Solar as well as Next Era Energy. And I think out of the two, Next Era Energy would probably be the more attractive buy. Even though both are at all-time highs, I think Next Era just presents a little bit less risk. Uh, let me know what you think of the video. Please subscribe if you're new um, and please like the video if you liked it. I think that helps the algorithm push it to other people so that we can build this little community that I got going on. And thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you have an awesome day.